Cheers, mate. Right, thank you. Oh. Granddad's been in to see Dot. And? Well, they're, they're still waiting for the last couple of tests, but the doctor seems really positive. Yeah? Yeah. Should have seen him, Martin. He was nearly in tears, and then he nearly started me off. She's really going to do it, you know. She's really going to beat this. Come here. Oh, I've been on pins all morning. Oh, I can imagine. So I thought, you know, I'm not going to settle studying now, so I thought I'd come and help you for the day. Yeah? Take my mind off all this. What can I get you, Spence? Um, Kilo bananas, please. They're good for building up muscles, aren't they? Yeah, a few of them. We'll have spectacular pecs in no time. Oh, good, because I want to really get in shape for when Kill gets back. Don't you know? Soon. Oh. It's cool. oh, lovely. Cheers. Here, yeah, darling. Hello. You all right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Hello, honey. What is your problem? Well, it's you, isn't it? Hey? Hey? <laughs> Behave yourself. I can't help myself. This is torture, working right next to you all day. Just inches away from me all the time. What's going to you today? Look, how about you go home and, and slip into something a bit clingy, eh? My mean, mum and Derek are going to community centre tonight, so I thought we can get a nice takeaway, spend some quality time together. Just me and you. What do you think? We could even celebrate Dot's good news at the same time. Yeah, I'd like that. All right, well, go on then. I'll finish off here. Oh. Supplier again, is it? Who's that? One well, has been asking Martin to switch over to him. Which supplier is that then? Us. No one you know, Mum. Don't be daft. Your Uncle Pete ran that store for donkey's years. I know every fruit and veg supplier in the area and their families. I think we can actually have this meal tonight, or are we all going to stand around talking? Right. I'm on my way then. I don't want to keep Derek waiting. Keep my Bessie for me. Oh. Well, does it really matter, you know? They'll grow back, they're flowers. Well, if everyone took that attitude... What's that noise? Is that your phone? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just a couple of mates messing around, texting me. I'm too busy to be bothered, though. Oh, I wonder the world's the way it is. I'll see you later. Come on, Better. Come on, Yeah. Sounds like a Glastonbury festival over there. Mm. Can I go to the Millers then? Yeah, it's probably shower faces here. Yeah. Oh. oh, I thought you'd never be ready. Oh, and you look beautiful, is what you were supposed to say. Yeah, you do. Husbands, eh? Listen, we're not going to be late, but if you change your mind about coming, you know where we are. Well, I'll see. Anyway, you enjoy yourselves. Good day. Come on. You're in demand. Your phone speaks at least five times in the space of about five minutes. Oh, yeah, it's a football results, isn't it? I signed up for one of them tech services. Football results? On a Monday morning? Yeah, well, you get them from all over the world, didn't you? You get them from Brazil, Russia. Oh, yeah, and how much is that costing us? It's a free trial. Oh. I, I've got to go. Oh. Martin, tread carefully with your mum this morning, will you? After all that stuff with your dad's bench, well, she's not in the best of moods. Hello. Look, this is a message for Sarah from Martin. I'm getting your messages, but I don't want them no more. Can you just leave me alone, please? Oh, Martin. Uh, your new bed's coming tomorrow. Right. Yeah, so make sure no one sets fire to it. Uh. Are you all right? Yes. And also make sure Betty doesn't start crawling all over it while I'm away. I told you, I'm going to Auntie Nellie's for a couple of days. Derek's off seeing his son, so you can have to look after yourselves. It's just what I need, a couple of days away from this lunatic asylum. Don't, don't let anyone drive you away, Mum. Oh, no one's driving me away. Oh, Martin, can you come down to the club? 
Oh, Mel. Yeah, my sister just called. There's a promoter there. She wants me to do my stuff for him, man. Come on, this is audition time. I need the best audience I can get. You got nothing better to do. Come on. Yeah, you're right, I haven't. Yeah, Ronnie, hang up, mate. I'm coming. Hello, Martin. I got your message. Right. Can we talk? Weird, isn't it? You and me back here, where we first met. Yeah, it's, it's a club. Lots of people meet up here. Most don't ever meet again. We have, though. Maybe it's fate. Martin, look, I, I know you're trying to do the right thing. And I really respect that. I, I really do. But you're, you're like me, aren't you? You just can't, can you? I've explained all this. It's just not possible. But you, you do still want me, right? And you must do. You don't just change, not after a few days. This ain't a case of just changing. I can't have you. That's that. Because of your wife? Yeah. Because you really love her, right? Yeah. Well, that's what I don't understand. I mean, love's about sharing, isn't it? it? About knowing someone, inside out, no secrets. I mean, if I was in love with someone, I'd, I'd expect them to tell me everything, no matter what. Maybe... Maybe you're just not quite as much in love with her as you think. I am. Well, then why don't you tell her about me? I have. What? I have told her about you. I've told her what's happened. And I've explained. And? And she was really upset. But she's forgiven me and we've put it behind us now. Just so long as I don't see you again.